how to stop shanking the ball. Hey there, Ramon Osa with you here, and I want you to imagine yourself for a second serving for match point. You hit a great serve and your opponent sends you this high, weak floater. Your eyes get wide with excitement because you're about to nail your forehand for a winner and take the match. And then, shank. You miss an easy ball and you let your opponent back into the match. What happened? You were set up perfectly. You were in great position and you just shanked the ball. It's cool. You know, we're all friends here. Don't feel bad. Even Federer does it sometimes. In this video, I'm going to show you my three secrets that's going to help you stop shanking the ball and start hitting that easy put away for a winner and winning that match. Let's get started. Number one, pay attention. Now, this is really the most important secret, and if you don't do this, you're never going to stop shanking the ball. But what does that mean, really? If you're like me, it's something your mom and dad used to tell you as a kid. What I mean in the tennis context is you want to notice what is happening when you hit the ball. Specifically, the most important direction you can give yourself is, I'm going to notice what part of the racket the ball is hitting. You don't have to beat yourself up over a mishit, but notice where it's hitting. You may start noticing that you're hitting every single forehand volley on the bottom edge of the racket, or you may notice you're shanking your kick serve because it's hitting off the top edge of the racket. Sometimes just becoming aware of how the ball is hitting your strings is enough for you to begin to adjust and start hitting clean, powerful shots. If you're aware of how you're shanking the ball and you can't seem to fix it, go to number two, which is exaggerate the cure. What does this mean? Well, say for example you hit every backhand volley off the throat of your racket like this. I want you to try and hit the next 10 backhand volleys off the tip of your racket. But Ramon, that sounds crazy. I hear you. Do me a favor and try this. I can almost guarantee you without actually seeing you do this that you'll struggle to hit the ball off the tip of the racket and you'll probably start hitting clean, crisp, powerful backhand volleys that hit the center of your racket. The reason this works a lot of times is you have a concept of what the proper space is to the ball and it's just a little bit off. It's kind of like when you said you lasted 20 minutes. Don't worry, this happens to everyone. So. When you purposely try to overcorrect the placement of the ball on your strings, you end up hitting the bullseye. By the way, before we go to tip number three, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss next week's lesson. And finally, tip number three, keep your head still through contact. This is a big one, because you may get curious about where your shot is going to go. It's natural. Or maybe you're worried about what your opponent is doing. Don't worry, the court's not going anywhere. And while it's important to have an awareness of where your opponent is going to be on the court, you'll focus on that after you hit the ball. For now, as you prepare to hit the ball, lock your eyes on the ball. And as it gets closer to your racket, your eyes will fix on the point of contact like this. And I want you to count to one before you look up. This will keep you from getting curious and pulling off the ball, and it'll help you cure that shank. And that's all there is to it. Just remember to pay attention, exaggerate the cure, and keep your head still, and you'll be hitting that high floater for a winner to close out the match. Thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you as I enjoy making every video for you. Do me a favor and click the like button. Let me know in the comments what your biggest problem is on the tennis court so I can make a video for it and help you out. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to know Federer's five forehand secrets that lets him hit with effortless power and just complete coolness, go ahead and click the button in the link below and I'll send you those absolutely free. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.